Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So I've been sat in the inn, just uh, kind of chilling, relaxing, a little drink from time to time. Uh, but it's time for me to actually do some work. So we're going to go out here and I'm going to check my mail first. We've got our gear here from Torvald that he sent us. This is for level 85. So we've got to be level 85 to use this. Uh, I'm leaving it in the post at the moment. We've got to remember we've only got seven days left on this, so I am going to have to take it out and start lugging it around pretty soon, which will mean maybe tidying up my bags a bit. Um, yeah, well, we will worry about that. Plus, we've also got the stuff from Kroll right here. Uh, another couple, we got that one right there for level 85. Ooh, hang on a minute. No, that one there, that one's level 80. Right, well, we'll take that one. And we can have a look at that one as a possibility. And Tello has just sent us a brand new pet, which we don't have yet. Which is absolutely awesome of him. So thank you very much, Tello. Um, just a minute. Just a minute. We'll want that one in a minute. Uh, Tello right there is Kroll. Kroll is... See, this is a problem. I, I, can, I can sometimes remember people and sometimes I can't. Kroll is Golden Eagle Army. Golden Eagle Army 22. So thank you very much, Golden Eagle Army. That is absolutely fantastic. We will learn the Thistle Brush br Bud. Thistle Brush Bud right there has been added to your pet journal. Click here to view. Okay, this thing looks cool. Island Expeditions. By the way, I've got a big announcement to make. You know that we had Sen Leia, special guest appearance on the video just a couple weeks ago or a week ago whenever it was uh showing off some of her favorite pets she is known for collecting a few pets there he is look at him it's fantastic I'm gonna name him it's definitely gonna have to have a name um, but yet yeah, senlea has now achieved 900 pets she almost did it last night she didn't quite get there last night but she has now reached 900 pets which i think is absolutely amazing so i thought that was definitely worth uh a, worth a mention it's definitely worth a mention right um wait a minute who did who, who gave this to me Gor uh, gorilla wizard gaming wasn't it pretty sure it's gorilla wizard gaming and i need to have a look right it's gorilla wizard gaming on youtube but he's in the book just as Gorilla Wizard game. Well, we can't put the number on there anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to go rename like this. Now, I don't know that I'll be able to put all of that in. But I can certainly fit in Gorilla Wizard. I can't fit gaming. So we'll just call this one Gorilla Wizard. I, I am jumping the queue a little bit. Um, we will go back and we will carry on with the um, the, the previous names that we've been using. Um, so I, I, I'm jumping the queue a little bit. But he is the one that gave me the pet. So... It's only fair that we name it after him. So we've got a blue quality Thistle Brush Bud right there. That name... What? Gorilla Wizard is reserved. Oh, I wonder if it's because it's got wizard in it. Some of them you... Uh, let me try doing it as one name. Oh, it'll do it like that. I can't have Gorilla... Yeah, it won't capitalize the wizard either. But anyway, we got Gorilla Wizard. There we go. Gorilla Wizard right there is now following us round as our new pet. Senlea, like I said, now has 900 battle pets. 900 of them, right? Not not 90. Okay, 900 battle pets, which is just phenomenal. It is a huge number of pets. So there you go. Anybody that is into pets and, and pet collecting and stuff, there's your target. Senlea is still the queen of pets. There are people here in a guild who really want to collect pets and who are doing well with collecting pets. But Senlea is still out in front. She's still the queen of pet collecting. And she has achieved over nine. She's actually up to 907 now, I believe. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, it's doing, she's, she's doing an absolutely wonderful job. So our next job over here, we came back through and we need to speak to Envoy Ducal in Silverbrook. Which, we'll do that a bit later. At the moment, I want to go to these over here. We've got the Eye of the Prophets up this way. Uh, plus, I also want to get the Sweet Root, which is here somewhere as well. We've got to go after. Uh, 
quite sure where that is to be found, but it is somewhere down here that we've got to find the sweet route. And we've also got to, yeah, there's that one of the Eye of the Prophets is up there. I think that's actually where I've got to take it rather than I've got to kill the guy. Or do I? Seer of Zeb Halak. Scourge Death Speaker. I the prophets we're saying there. Um Mojo Zimbo um Right, yeah, I can't remember if he's up there or if we've got to come down here and you kill him down here first and then you take it up there. Is he in here? He's either right Zimbo's hideout. Ah, Warlord Zimbo, there's the guy that we want. Right, so we take him down first. Um, so thank you very much to everybody that gave me a whole load of feedback uh, last week about videos and um, potential changes that are coming to the channel. There will be some changes, not huge, massive changes to the channel, but there will be some changes. Those will be starting next week. I'll give you more details about that next week when we actually start with it. But in the meantime, for this week, uh, there won't be any changes. That uh, Anything that does happen will start next week. Uh, so you don't need to worry about it at the moment. Um, but yeah, starting next week, I'm going to be doing things ever so slightly differently. And hopefully it'll sort of make everything feel a little bit more streamlined. And it'll run a little bit um, faster. And the, the main idea to start with is that I will have time for doing... A little bit extra here and there and and that's what I'd really like to do it's a little bit extra that is also going to be beneficial the way that it's going to happen is going to benefit both myself my family and also the YouTube channel here as a whole um, it may result in those of you who play on the guild it may result in you seeing me a little bit less online because at the moment I'm online uh, three or four days of the week doing my recordings. Unfortunately, I haven't really been online very much at all outside of that. Uh, Miss Mucky Pup and um, Gooseman X or Torval. Uh, so we've got uh, Winter and Firefoxy, uh, two of Miss Mucky Pup's characters, and then we've got Torval and uh, Sia as his main characters, and he has got some others. Um, they're the two the, the two officers for the guild, and they're running the show here they've done a huge amount so credit where it is due they are essentially running this guild for us now they are the um the frith guard they are the warcraft branch of the frith guardians they run things here and they sort of help you out they're getting special recognition for their services over on the discord um, we're going to give them a uh, different colored chat and stuff like that so that they can easily be recognized as the World of Warcraft leaders. And uh, so World of Warcraft inquiries can then more easily be made to them as and when you need to and, and so on and so forth. So I'm, I'm sort of hoping that that's going to be a really to cool forward. change um, and that uh, everybody will benefit from that as well. Uh, beyond that, there's not really a huge amount to say at the moment. I'll tell you more about other changes next week. There is uh, competitions, there's giveaways coming up. I did have a giveaway that I was doing this week, um, but now I've had more people donating stuff for the giveaway um, who would like I'm out of to donate more stuff for giveaways, which is absolutely amazing because what it means is we're not just having a birthday week. It's turning into a whole birthday month of giveaways and celebrations and, and so on. All for my birthday on the 13th and send Leia's birthday coming up on the 16th as well. So it's going to be a load of stuff going on both um, for well, both for Farming Simulator and for other games as well. Um, I don't know if we've got anything particular planned at the moment for World of Warcraft. Beyond my first ever multiplayer live stream, which is happening on the... Uh, that one there. Um, that 
first ever multiplayer live stream is happening here for World of Warcraft, hopefully on the 29th of March. We will be doing that, and I'm really looking forward to doing that one. I think it's going to be loads of fun getting that one going. Um, we're going to be doing, as a guild, hopefully some of the old raids and getting some of those uh, old raid achievements done. Which I think is going to be awesome. It's going to be loads of fun. And I may be giving it's out like pets away. and stuff like that from the guild bank tabs while we do that as well. Just dishing out a few. And uh, if we've got any other prizes kicking around there as well. Uh, we'll, we'll throw some of those out as, um, on top of it. Which I, I just... I'm out of range. Generally I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Doing all of this I think is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so that's on the 29th. That's going to be World of Warcraft related activities. Uh, to, as part of our month long birthday celebrations. Why not? Why not? There were month long celebrations. It's going to be awesome. Anyway. You feel a strange presence as you stand before this ancient idol. Remove the eye of the prophets from the idol's face. Right. I've done that. Now what? Dracuru's Brazier. Yeah, we want to go over to that one now. So we go over to here and we take that one. Zimbo's mojo. Uh, use. There. There he is. Relax. You get tired of profits, man. This be it, man. It be even more precious than I hoped. This be sure to bring my people hope in these dark times. Now, no time to waste now. Let's be seeing where the next artifact be hidden. Be hiding. Secrets of the ages be revealed to me now. Drakuru peers through the eye of the prophets. Ah, great be my destiny, Grundorn. You be lucky to know me. There, I be seeing it, man. The heart of the ancients, this be too easy. You're gonna find a heart lying near the corpse of a goblin east of here. He be up in a chamber near a river of broken trees. Hurry, man, before someone else be finding it. Spirits be with you, man. Okay, we gotta go and find a goblin up there. Heart of the Ancients is on the blue logging thing. The other side of Silverbrook, we will probably skip over Silverbrook. We'll go around and we'll go and get that one. But first up, we want to go down there to the Seared Scourge bit. Plus, uh, we've got the Shimmer Cap Stew that we want to turn in. That's another bit that we want to do. Uh, so we will flappy our way down here rather than actually running. And you can see here we've got like lots of these ones running around. And set places that you want to go for this to make this work quite well. And one of those set places is actually up on here. Right, if you do this on a flying mount, it's so much easier. You just stand up somewhere like that and then you take max dark grog like this. Just start lobbing it down onto the trolls there, and it starts setting them on fire. It's it's brilliant. So you can just start chucking it round like this. It's absolutely awesome. You can stand over on the hill over there somewhere, and you can do it as well. But if you can get up onto here and do it, it just makes your life a lot easier. So you literally just start chucking them around like this. I don't know why it clicked. It moved sort of funny like that. There we go. That's 15 of 20. See, it doesn't take long. And you, you can throw it a really long way as well. And throw it all the way over there. Uh, tell you what. We'll go, we'll go over here. See, I can't throw it too close to me. If I put it up there, like that. Are they going to run? They're not burning. Why aren't you burning? Lob it all the way over there. And down and... Right, well apparently it doesn't work while it's on the steps. It does work while it's down here. But it doesn't work on the closer. steps. You need to get closer. No, you need to get further away actually. It's the big problem is you, you, you're too close. You're, too, you, you, you're in too far, in, in too close. You can't see the wood for the trees unfortunately. There we go. 19. So another one going to set fire. And 20. That's it. We've done. We've done our 20. If you want to, you can stay here and you can use up all 50 of those charges on that thing if you like. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, it, it, it can be a bit of fun. Now, that's those dealt with down there. So we've got the Shimmer Cap Stew and the Seared Scourge to hand in over back this way. 
Then we want to go up that way and we want to do the Heart of the Ancients bit. And then we'll come back round and we'll do the Silverbrook bit. Uh, I think that'll be the best way to do this. And then when we come back to Amberpine after that, there was another quest that sort of takes us down here towards Voldroon. And we've got bits to do down there. Uh, but for now, we head up this way. And it, the Silverpine bit is quite cool. I like that as part of the, like, the main storyline for this zone. So first up, we will speak to... Greetings, man. Prigmon. Greetings, man. You get those ingredients for old Prigmon, Grundon. Yep, I certainly did. Oh, man. Shimmer cup stew. I can almost taste it already. Akko's gonna drop a gold brick when he sees his choice ingredients. All that be left is getting them to him. He's camped out on the eastern coast near them haunted ruins. Drakil Jin. They be called. You'll likely be making it there before I can finish up with these corpses. Unless you think you'd rather try your hand at embalming. Uh, rather Spirits be with you, man. Ra ra rather not, really. Embalming's not really my, my cup of tea. It's, it's, it's got to be said. It's not, not really my thing. Right, now we got How are you? the drunk. Get a high, mate. Shit, now have your shelf a shit, won't ya? Well done! Mac laughs hysterically for a moment. Oh, come on now. That was funny. <laughs> Orc women. They just don't listen. You know what I mean, human? Kurzel's been with us for years. You, you, you. He, he said human again, didn't he? He said human. I'm, I'm going to put it down to his drinking. I'm going to put it down to him being drunk. Kurzel's been with us for a few years. Uh, you, you'd think she'd get a feel for uh, how we do things by now. Lure the fools in for dangerous work, then reap the rewards when it's safe. What's so hard to understand? Not her, though. Impatient green skin goes off and takes matters into her own hands. Probably dead by now, but I'd feel horrible if we didn't follow after her, and I'm in... I'm in no shape to do it myself. What, so what do you say, pal? Uh, See you around. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, this is a daily. Right, yeah, we, we can go back later. and you can go and do the, the grog quest again. But that is a daily, which I don't really want to do. So then we've got this. Wants us to go into Drakfaren to see what has become of her. Uh, I'm going to untrack that one at the moment. And then I'm not actually planning to do that one because I'm not really planning to do any dungeon quests on this one. So we'll leave that one. Uh, Prigman wants to go to Harkor's camp. That one is all the way over to there. Uh, Drakuru wants us to go up there. So we're going to go to the Drakuru quest next. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to follow this one over here. We're not going to follow the road as such. I'm going to stay this side of the river. And I'm going to take that over to here. Sort of this side of the river. I'm going to follow the river itself. I'm going to fly up the river. And we're going to take that route to it. Over to here. And then up over the top. Because I don't think there are any other quests that send us up this way. Into the Blue Sky Logging Grounds. As far as I know. I mean there might be. I might have this wrong. In which case we will have to come back here again. But I don't think there are. I don't think there's much up here at all. You've got a... Um, so you've got Conquest Hold Skirmishers. That's a PvP quest that is. I don't like PvP stuff. I hate that you've got this PvP stuff. Alright, this this is not something that I like at all. So I come up to here, and this guy is, as far as I know, in here. There he is. Right there is the Heart of the Ancients. This unfortunate goblin must have unearthed the Heart of the Ancients during his excavations in the region. It's doubtless that he had no clues as to its nature. You determined that it must have been overlooked in the chaos sweeping through the area. Drakura's voice fills your mind. Amon, this eye of the prophets be great. I be using it to watch ya, and I see you got heart to heart now. Not bad. Now you just gotta bring it to my brazier at Drakatal Passage. A short walk east of you. You must drink my elixir at the pedestal to summon me there. This time you need to mix in some desperate mojo from the defenders for it to be working. 
Desperate Mojo. Right, so if I accept that one and we have a look, he is literally just down there. So we'll go. That one we'll do after. We're not going to do that one now. We're now going to go to Envoy Ducal in Silverbrook. We'll come out of here. We'll mount up again straight off the side so that we don't have to go and combat that lot. And then what I'm going to do to come into Silverbrook, because Silverbrook... You would come up. We would have come up that road. So I'm going to fly back down towards that road in order to go into there. Um, but before we do that, I'm just going to take us up into the air a little bit, a little bit higher, so that you can have a look at this. Right, you've got Vordrassel's tears, Vordrassel here, right? And you'll see more of that over here. We've got this absolute huge chunk of tree right here okay this this tree is like beyond big and there's another piece over there and there's another piece over there right and then you can see that huge chunk over there Vordrassel there's another one of the world trees now if you remember correctly from your map uh, that one there is Teldrassel and we know that is a giant tree that the elves lived in and then you also find out in the Mount Hygel stuff that actually this up here, this is another tree. Is it up there or is it, is it over this side? I think it might be over this side. Um, protect the world tree. You've got this world Nordrassel up there. So you've got Nordrassel there, which was, I think that may have actually been the original world tree. And then you've got Teldrassel up there so Nordrassel, Teldrassel and then where we are here in Northrend you've now got uh, Vordrassel so there's Nordrassel, Vordrassel and Teldrassel there's three of them three massive great big world trees that these elves have grown I don't know the full story behind it but I just thought it would be a really cool thing to show you we're not going to be doing Mount Hygel on this playthrough but um, yeah you will see a little bit more of this one, the, the Vordrassel one, on this playthrough. Um, and I just thought you'd like to see it sort of from up here. It, it's very cool. Some of the backstory for World of Warcraft, like you can really just get sucked in just on the backstory alone. It's absolutely incredible. There's so much stuff to see and learn and everything about it. Um, for those of you who are actually online, because we've got a load of people on. Ah. Uh, Press the wrong button. Unfortunately, I wasn't very high. Look at this. Look at how many people we got online at the moment. We've got seven people online, including myself. There's so six other people online right now, which is absolutely fantastic. So any of you who are actually watching this video, um, I did stop and chat for a little bit, but uh, sometimes I chat a bit during the video. Uh, sometimes I don't. I'm not talking very much today in, in the video, but um, yeah, I, I some, some days I will and some days I won't. But... Don't worry, I am sort of half looking to see if... Looking for DPS tank and healer. Oh dear, that's not very good. You lose everybody. Um, I am half looking at the chat. Um, mostly today I'm just wanting to uh, sort of what rush through with some you? of these quests. It's good to finally meet you, Grundle. We've heard about you up here. Welcome to Silverbrook. These trappers are a great bunch of lads and lasses. Hard, hardy people. They know the lay of the land really well. You'll find it's a great thing when we've finally won them over to our side. See you later. Hey there. It's good to meet you. Let's celebrate our pact by partaking in some good old-fashioned horde killing. You'll find marauders from Conquest Hole just outside our town, west of here. Why don't you head out there and hunt them like the filthy animals that they are? Let's see if our new allies can come back... Let's see if our new allies can back all their talk with some action. Have a good one. Sounds a little rough, to be honest. It's got to be said, that that does sound a little bit rough, asking me to do that. How are you? Have you heard of the Wolfsbane plant? It is a horrible weed. It destroys our farmable crops. We spent all of last week cutting them down, but the roots are beginning to sprout again. It might not seem like an urgent matter, but a resurgence of the plant could be a real disaster. Do you think you could help us by uprooting them where you find them near the village? We need to kill Wolf's Bane. See you okay. around. You know, we've never actually been asked to hunt Wolf's Bane before. It's never really been much of an issue for anybody previously. 
So I, I don't know why they're so um, against the wolf Spain. I didn't realize it was um, anything that could harm any of the crops. But, well, if it is, it is. That's, that's fine. We will take out the wolf Spain. We need these people to help us. Uh, there's you over there. And then I'm going to get stunned again in a minute. So I'm just going to drop that. And then I'm going to wallop them to the shields down there. They're going to stun me again. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to take that one. And then Grundon Jenkins. There we go. Right, you know what? I think I will pop that one. And I'll pop that one there. And then we will throw the shield again and again and again. <laughs> I love it when it happens. I love it. And then we'll pop that one. And there's our little... Um, wings on our back oh i love this i love this is, this is fantastic look at it look at him go yes <laughs> oh okay a, a six a six i just want i just want one more before i finish even killing this first one right here i want i want all it's a shame i didn't actually get all eight of them in one go but i got most of them i got the others I got most of them, and that was seven, and that is eight right there. Eight! Beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. It was a lot of fun as well. Okay, there is a decent moment, and if you look on the Discord, actually, um, lately, uh, Torval, Gooseman X, has posted a few pictures of some of the... Um, Grundorn, mo not the, the the Jenkins moments. He's he's got Jenkins himself sort of going around with, but he's also had uh like taken some screenshots of other people with the Jenkins title as well. There's there's a lot of Jenkinses turning up. We seem to have a lot of Jenkinses these days. I'm going over this side because we don't have to worry about all those hordies, and there's still a load of these roots over this side, so we can grab up these the wolf wolf Spain here. And there's another one right there, and I'm pretty sure that's another one. Over, is that one over there? Oh, no, maybe not. Um, but that's uh, five of them there. So we carry on over this way. And it, these proto-drakes, right? These are actually... It was Northrend that these all came from, yeah? Much more savage, primeval-type-looking creatures. I think they're wonderful. I love these wolf, um, the, the proto-drake ones. Um, and they really do seem to fit this environment. So I, I like having them pop up when we're in Northrend because obviously that's the, the place where I got them all from. Uh, the green one in particular is a rather difficult one to get. Uh, that one you've got to go and get exalted with one of the groups down here in Cholazar Basin, which you can do through a few daily quests. But it takes quite a long time doing the daily quests in order to build it up. Then once you get exalted with them, then the hard work starts. You get, you can go and buy an egg from them, and the egg takes seven days to hatch, and you have a very small percentage chance of getting a green proto drake out of it. Uh, they have now changed it so it takes three days to hatch instead of seven, so you do have that on your side. Uh, but it's a small percentage, and it took me a long time. I think after I finally started getting the eggs, it still took me nearly a year to be able to get the whole thing, which was, um, yeah... That's a long time. Greetings. A very long time. Not bad. Not bad. You might not be as soft as some of the others. So, do we want plus critical strike and then use with spell power? Increase spell power by 65 for 20 seconds. There's plus 26 intellect. This is 26 haste and increase attack power. I don't actually want any of those because I've got the increased dodge for the charm of alacrity. And then I've got Equip, Chance on Melee, a Ranged Attack. So I've got the Death's Night Anguish, which is one that we just keep. That's a um, Chance on Attack rather than a, a Set Use. So none of these are going to be beneficial. So I very often on Spellcaster ones, I go for that one. It's quite a cool one. It's 26 Intellect and then Increase Spell Power. Um, the crit, crit Chance would be good as well. Okay. Be careful. Take that one. And then I want to go over here and I want to turn in this bit. Good to you. Right there. Good day to you. Kaja reels away from you nervously. What's wrong? I'm, it's, seriously, I've just been pulling up Wolfsbane. Thank you, Grundorn. You didn't get any of that Wolfsbane on you, did you? I've got these allergies that act up once in a while. Oh, right. Allergies. Oh, well, yeah, that, that would explain why she's nervous. Uh, I don't think so. I, I did brush myself off afterwards. Right. 
And we can have... We lose a little bit of haste. We don't gain a great deal. We gain, we don't gain a great deal on that one. And that one, not a great deal. Okay, so we take the most valuable one, which is the cape. See you later. And we go with that. Now, we got another quest over here. This is down here, and I need to speak to... Can I help you? Sergey again. All right, friend. You've done us a favor or two, but that's not the true test of a person's courage. Around these parts, you're not a real hunter unless you wear your prey's skin. Sergey unsheaths his knife, skinning knife and hands it to you. The leader of those motherless orcs attacking our town is called Bone Snap. You'll find him at a camp further northwest. That's right, you're going to skin the monster. So Wait, you're what? Seriously? Firefoxy? Uh, she needs a new pet. This one couldn't find its way out of a wet paper bag. <laughs> I can't find my way out of a wet paper bag. Yeah, she's got a warg at the moment, which the DPS doesn't seem to be quite good. Uh, not that good. I think cats are reasonable. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that the ones in Outland, and I think they're, are they ravishers? That the ones that sort of accumulate around that area there, and also down around there, those creatures there. I can't remember what they're called. Um, you've got scorpids... Hang on, if we go up here, flayers, Th those flayer type things or ravishers or whatever they were called, um, those things, I'm pretty sure they're pr they are pretty good, um, or at least they used to be anyway. Right, so we've been asked to go and find this guy and skin him, and then what? See, so, I mean, and wear his skin? I mean, look, I know that we're at war with the Horde and all, but that... That seems a bit much. Skinning a guy alive. That that does seem that, that seems a bit much. Not really sure what to do about that. Right, um Sergeant Bone Snap, you come over here. I'm, I'm gonna take you down, Sunshine. I ain't I ain't putting up with this. Right, there's Sun uh, Sergeant Bone Snap, and I now need to well, we've got a tall horn stag here. Well, a little bit of meat is not gonna hurt. Go with that right there, and then Stop! Put that knife away. You don't have to do whatever they sent you to do. You're not like them yet. All right. Before we skin the guy, let's um. You need something? Don't do it, Grondorn. The people that sent you here, you shouldn't trust them. Why? Thanks for helping me, Grondorn. My name's Sasha. Listen, I have to get the hell out of here. The people they've sent that 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 have sent you here, my people, they've changed. They're not good people anymore, and they want to turn you into one, one of one of them. This test they sent you on is just the beginning. Head to the northwestern end of Silverbrook. You'll find something of interest to you. Good luck, and trust no one. Safe travels. What? Seriously? You're going to respawn that fast? Oh, all right, fine. Apparently they are going to respawn. Um. I don't have a target. There, and then there. See what pets are in each zone. That is a... I'm pretty sure that's a... Um, thank you. I should get going now. All right. I'm going to get going as well with a flying boat. Take my flying boat over here. So we've, we've got to go out onto the very end. Under your pet battle, uh, battle pet list, next to it, find battle. It needs to be ticked. Firefoxy knows. Firefoxy knows. Right. There's something back here that we need to find. So we'll, we'll, we'll creep in here a minute. We'll do this. There we go. Right, I'm going to... Yeah, let me just get rid of that. And in we go here. Right. Who's this? Caged prisoner. You need something? Who's there? Uh, are you here to kill me? Please, you don't have to do this. Dude, who are you? You! You're not one of them! Quick, let me out! We have to get to Amber Pine Lodge immediately! Once Lieutenant Dumont finds out who these people really are, this town will be reduced to rubble! Alright. Uh, For the Alliance. Right, I think we got just enough time to do this quest. Were you bitten? Answer me! Were you bitten? Um, Six dead birds have died. Okay, right. 
You don't even know, do you? The trappers, they're not human. We have to get out of here. Come quick. Right, well, we'll come back round here. We've got to follow him. You got to stay with him. Right, take Ducal's horse. He's one of them now. Which is Ducal's horse. Right, there's lamp oil in the back. Make use of it. The fiends hate fire. We've got burning oil. We've got gallop. Increased movement speed by 60%. And we've got trample. Right, I'm on the back. I've got that. You're not doing anything. Oh, I have to start moving it a little bit. And... Wait a minute. What's this? Worgen. There. Alright, there's, there's, there's lots of them. Let, let's, let's start moving. There's, there's lots of Worgen. We're being chased now. This, this is not good. Burn them off. That's what you've got to do. Is you've got to burn them off. Um, and then you can use a stun like that to keep them back as well. Keep doing that. Keep burning them off. They don't like fire. There we go. Look, see, they're getting burned off. Um, you start running like that. I've got, I got more. But there's more on their way. Now we got to watch it. Now we got to watch it. There's, there's loads of them turning up now. Absolutely loads of them. Uh, go, go to number three like that, and then burn that lot back there. Chuck some fire on them. Go gallop, gallop, gallop. Get out of here. My, my horse is. Um, we're down to 67% health. There. Stun them a little bit. Stun you as well. Oh, crumbs. i got loads of them turning up. Quick, there. Burn them. Burn them off. Like that. Stun those. Gallop away a little bit. Keep going. Get across the river. Swim. Swim. And then I'm right. I'm going to chuck the fire back over there. That might keep them busy. And stun those away from me. More fire. More fire. We need more fire. Oh. No. We, we, we may have lost them. We may have lost them. No. Here they come. Here they come again. One last, one last go for glory. I missed them completely that time. Okay. I'll do that. Stun them back and keep them back. We're, our horse is down to 43%. Uh, right. Chuck the fire down like that. Stun and then get out of here. I can stun them again. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them come in a little bit, so I've got three or four of them all at once. Down to 37% there. Right, a massive stun like that, and then throw the fire into the big group. The whole lot together. That's more like it. That's what we want. Wow, there's there's, there's more of them coming still. Like that, and there's a load of them all on fire. He's down. They're down. I think I've got most of them out. Our horse is down to 32%. Oh. Right, that's no good. Uh, stun them again and then run. If I can keep running, look, see, we're going past the Vordrassel bit there. You keep going, dude. Keep going. <laughs> you got to love the moves like that. you got to love those kind of moves. Okay, now we've got a bear chasing us as well. Get rid of that one. He's, he's running away. He's running down. He's, he, no, he, he went after the bear. Keep going. We're getting close to home now. 24%. The horse is almost dead. The Eye of Vale Resk Shinor. Eye of Vale Resk. I think that one's quite difficult. If I remember, is that in Terracar Forest? I'll have a look in a minute. As soon as, as soon as we get off the horse, I'll have a look. I'm pretty sure, Miss Monkey Pup, that is up on up in the trees up above you. I think it is. I'll have a look. Eye of Vale Resk Shine. I'm pr yeah, that's that's the one in Terracar Forest. She's uh, Terracar Forest uh, level like 23. Um, not 23. At level 70, some odd. Let me have a look. See if I got that right. Go to here, uh, Rosta, she is Terracar Forest, yes, uh, level 70. Right, um, right, so we had our mad rush all the way back here, and there was loads and loads of Worgen chasing us as we came back through. 
We've got our beautiful little Gorilla Wizard Thistlebrush Bud right there. We will take that quest in a minute and we will turn in this quest, this urgent quest as well. But we're going to have to do all of that next time because we've run out of time for today's episode. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. Hey and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We will just sell a quick few of these items here like this and that one and that one and then that was soul bound which we didn't want uh soul bound i don't think we wanted that one uh actually we did want that one and then we've got that one minus 15 parry but we gain uh one strength one stamina 15 armor five haste and five versatility have a we'll good one. That one we'll use that shield that one that we got sent i think that was tello also, we haven't collected the appearance, which is very nice. So we'll spin that one around a minute, and then we will go like that. Yep. And e Oh, that is wicked cool. I like. I like that a lot. Look at it. Look at that. That is... Uh, I love that. Right. Uh, also, the hat. Right there, the helm, I should say. Uh... That looks all right. There's nothing particularly grand, though, is it? And then we've got mail. We've got those we don't want. That one we do want to keep. We didn't want to keep that. So we want to swap those two around. There. Sell, 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 sell. And then sell the Ice Hill Buckler now. The Charm and that Cobalt Helm. And then... Slot up here is all bind on equip stuff that we do eventually want to sell, uh, send off to our character. So uh, we'll just do business. that a minute. We browse your goods and then we go like this. Sell all of those items and that is everything that we want to sell for now. Don't want to sell anything else. Save right, travel. We'll save the rest of our money. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.